Hey everybody, good morning. Um, lives make me nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I don't do these often, but figured I would today um, so that you guys can go through my daily makeup routine with me. I'd like to say that it's nice and short, but I tend to prolong it. So hopefully, I don't know how long these lives go. Um, good, we've got some people joining. Hi guys, good morning. Um, not sure how many people are going to be on this morning, but figured I'd do this anyway. Guys, I get sweaty armpits with this. I hate lives. <laughs> so I'm going to do my, the best that I can. Um, and to be honest, I think it's good morning, Cassidy. I think it's, it's super awkward to just talk into a camera. So maybe that's why I hate the lives or maybe I need a whole blooper reel. I don't even know. So anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys today. It's been a while since I've done a full face video and that's kind of when I started mascara maybe a year or so ago. So a lot of things have changed. So I'm going to, hi, we're getting I'm, more people than I expected this morning. Good morning. So I don't know my time limit on these. If anyone knows, you wanna tell me, help a sister out. I don't do these often. I like videos so that I have bloopers or I can cut stuff out because I tend to babble. So before I get started, I'll just let you know how I prepped my face. Hi, Rachel. Good morning. Um, when I wake up, all I do is I don't do like a, a full uh, cleansing routine. I just use our milk toner. So that balances pH and helps um, close your pores. I do my nighttime routine with moisturizer and everything and I have oily skin, so I don't necessarily need it during the day. Oh no, is your hair super short? I'm sorry. You, I've, I've done that so many times, I can't tell you. It's hard to get the back without burning your neck. Um, but hopefully next time you'll try it again and that won't happen. Um, anyways, I just toned this morning and then I moisturize. This is my moisturizer sunscreen and makeup primer that I use. It's Unseen Sunscreen by Super Goop. So it's not necessarily a moisturizer, but with oily skin, I don't like to moisturize during the day because then my makeup tends to slide right off my face. So I just use this as my kind of all-in-one every day. So this is what I have all over my face now after I used our milk toner, which is amazing. And if you guys order anything through the link in my bio through the end of the month, I'll send you a free sample of that along with the cleanser and the moisturizer. And then um, because I'm oily, I also do a eyelid primer. So I just use Ulta's brand. It's, it's cheap. I've tried Ur Urban Decay. This works the same. So why spend the money? But, um, that's all I've got on my face. So what I did was put that on and then did my hair. So that has time to sit on my skin and soak in. And then I will just get right in to applying everything and starting with my hack. So I recently, um, I bought this power powder blush and or brush and I, it's supposed to be for your setting powder, which I do use. And I just didn't love it for that, so it kind of sat in my bag. And then I saw another artist use it for her highlight, and so I tried that and I absolutely love it. So I use this end of the, this is the power powder. So I use that for my highlight and that's where I'll get going here. So my summer color for highlight is wheat. Yours may be different, so DM me if you need a color match and I'll have you send me a selfie in natural light so that we can get the perfect color for you. So mine, since I'm a little bit tanner, is gonna be wheat. And I'm just going to dip that in here, get, get a decent amount on there, but you don't need a lot. And then just start applying. So I did a um, video on my YouTube on how I apply for melasma. And my melasma, I got a hydrofacial a couple weeks ago and it actually, I don't know if that's what helped or just being out of the sun a little bit more, but it's a lot lighter right now, which is very unusual for summer. So I'm going in all over. So in that video, I was showing you that I use um, contour to kind of even out the skin tone where my melasma at, is at, which is right here on my cheeks and then other uh, areas of my face. But when it's light, the highlight seems to cover it okay. So I'm just gonna do a full layer with my wheat on my, <clears throat> excuse me, on my whole face. And this is again using the 
angled side of the power powder brush. So we recommend the 30 second hack brush to get started because that can do your whole face. That's kind of like the all purpose brush. And then when you get comfortable with everything, you can start adding to your collection. Um, our brushes are amazing. I will just tell you that right now. And they are made to go with this makeup. So if you try to use other brushes, you may not get the full benefit of this makeup. So just letting you know there, but that's why we recommend the 30 second hack because that can do everything. I mean, your entire face that can do your, um, your eyeshadow and a lot of our products are multi-purpose. So, um, you can use your lip and cheek for eye or uh, I'm sorry, lip and cheek for lips and cheeks. Um, you could also use it for eyeshadow. You can use your contours for eyeshadow. So, your starter palette that you get can really be used for your entire face. Uh, let me catch up on some of these comments here. You have beautiful skin. You recommend using very large pores. Yes, I actually have large pores. Um, and the Hydra Facial, it's, it's pricey. It was $200, but I'm telling you, it's so worth it. Um, it went in, so they go in and it, it cleanses your skin really good, but then it kind of like, they do another step where it sucks everything out. So that's the extraction part of it, which is not painful, because if you do facials and you know extractions are painful. Um, I loved it for that and it actually got so I get a lot of blackheads in this area here and it's hard to keep that under control but it look I mean it helped so much so I would highly highly recommend looking into that if it's something you can splurge on okay so now I've got my full face done again because I have melasma I do my full face if you don't have anything or much to cover um, if you have redness and stuff to cover then you'll want to cover that with your highlight but um, otherwise you would just go in, I see spots that I missed, sorry guys, it's hard to do this on my phone, I, the lighting's not good. So you would go in and cover the areas that need a little bit more coverage with the highlight first, and then you can go on top of that. But the idea of this makeup is to not have layer upon layer. That's um, the great thing about it. So. If you don't have that and you don't need that full coverage on things, then you can just go into the areas where you would highlight and then not necessarily where you would contour. So here on your forehead, your jawline, um, you would leave that highlight free and then you're going to go back when you add your contour and blend that all in. So now I'm going to grab my um, detailed hack brush. So this one has a larger flat end and then a smaller end here that's great for getting into smaller spaces so I like to use this to go underneath my eyes and now I'm gonna do that with amber which is a little bit lighter than wheat because it covers up dark circles and redness beautifully so amber is gonna be our most uh, universal highlight that's the one that I probably color match with the most because it's so good at covering up redness and just areas that need it. So just doing a little touch up under my eyes. So this is acting like my concealer right now. And then this is also a great color if you have any blemishes that you need to cover. So I'm not worrying about blending or anything right now. I'm just going in with my highlight and contour and getting that done. So take the other side of that detailed hack brush. And you know what, actually I'm not. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my 30 second hack so that you guys can see how that works with contour. So this is gonna be the larger side, not the pointy side for the uh, 30 second. And then I'm gonna go into my, um, this is a new one I haven't used yet, I just got it, it's shadow contour. I'm gonna go in with the, hmm, what do I wanna to use today? This is the fun part, is picking the colors, you guys, because everything's so versatile that if I wanna go a little bit crazier with my um, contour then I, I use this indigo which I love it's a darker color so what I'm doing is finding my that indent right underneath my cheekbone and applying the contour on that so it's gonna go on pretty dark and that's okay because we're gonna blend it out so your highlight and contour are what make your foundation with this makeup it's not putting on your foundation and then highlighting and contouring and having a million layers so with the contour we're creating a shadow but this is also what's going to warm up our highlight once we blend it i like uh, indigo for under my cheeks because it's a little bit darker and it goes on beautifully um 
for my forehead, I, for, why, I don't know why I say for, for, for my forehead, I'm gonna go in with olive and then just kinda get that in there with swirly motions. The thing I've noticed with our indigo too, and I don't, um, <clears throat> I don't color match everybody with that contour, is it has a little bit of a red undertone. So somebody's warm, if their skin tone is warm, I don't like to give them um, indigo. But it, I mean, like I said, it blends out beautifully. So everything is pretty versatile. Like it's not gonna be, if the color's off, it's not gonna be hugely off. So now I'm going down my jawline. This is with the olive and applying that, and I'm doing this with the heavy hand because we're gonna blend it all out. Now, bring that down the neck just a little. Yes, Rachel, this is great for appy scars, especially amber. So if that's something I see when somebody sends me their selfie for a color match, then um, amber is usually one that I recommend because um, it's so good at covering all of that up. Okay, so now that I've got my highlighting contour done, I haven't done my nose yet. I'm gonna wait on that. Um, I've got my cheeks and everything else done, so I'm going to, I have my um, Perfector sponge damp right now, so I squeeze almost all of the water out of this. I don't want it to take my makeup off, so it's just barely damp right now. And then I'm gonna take this Stay Outside Setting Spray, which I have a new bottle of, so I'm almost out of this one, and I'm gonna just, Spritz it all over my Perfector sponge and work that into it because again, I don't want this wet. Okay, now that it's, it's still just damp, I'm gonna start blending this out. And I like to go over my contour first to blend that and don't forget to blend it down your neck if you put it there. Rachel, I'm so glad you're loving this product. I knew you would. Guys, Rachel used to be a makeup artist for eight, eight years, right, Rachel? And she's obsessed with this product. So I was nervous to color match her just because I wanted her to love the product, and she does, so it all worked out. All right. Okay, so see how all of that blended? It's okay that it was dark. So I wanted to keep the shadows where I contoured. So the idea of contouring is to shadow, not to, we don't wanna see um, the lines for that. So now I'm gonna go in with my detailed hack brush again. I'm gonna grab the, the flat end of that again and just dip the corner of it into my contour here. And I'm using olive for this. And I'm just going to do a light line down the side of my nose. And then I, in kind of a V down here, just whatever's left on it, I use to finish contouring. And then I'm going to take this other side where I used a little bit of highlight and just lightly blend that line out. Again, we don't want harsh lines when we're contouring. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more blending with my Perfector sponge after I go in with my brightening highlight. So when I color match you, I typically recommend two highlights, your main highlight and then a brightening highlight. And um, the brightening highlight is meant to go on the bridge of your nose. You can do a little bit in the center of your forehead. In this pie triangle area here underneath your eyes, we wanna have the, the brightness hit us where light would normally hit us. So in this area here, and then a little bit on the center of your chin. So for my bridge of my nose, I'm, my, um, my brightening highlight is Aura. So I'm just dabbing my finger into it and then I take that, not all the way down, about three quarters of the way down my nose and then just bring it up a little. And then I'm gonna go in with my, um, Perfector sponge in a minute 
And then the rest of it, I'm gonna use the, the smaller side of my detail hack brush to go in underneath my eyes. And here I'm stippling. So one thing I recommend um, for large pores is to stipple rather than wipe the makeup on. It will help it get into the pores there so that it doesn't have a weird texture to it, the, the highlight. So this is kind of like the, the tribal part of it, or tribal makeup. I think that's what's most fascinating to me about this makeup though, is that you put it on pretty heavy and it looks really scary, but then when you blend it out, it's like magic. So a little bit down here on my chin and then just a little bit more up here. So see how much brighter that is? Now I'm gonna go back over it with my perfector and just blend it out a little bit. And I have to look in the mirror to do this, you guys. You're right, Rachel, it does get better throughout the day. This stuff's amazing. So um, I live in Arizona and it's, I mean, it's triple digits here for six months out of the year. It's ridiculous. And um, this is the only makeup that doesn't melt off my face by the end of the day. It actually looks better at the end of the day. So I'll blot a little bit as I need to throughout the day, but very, very rarely do I ever have to reapply. I mean, that's if I am like pouring sweat. So here's how highlight and contour looks right now. Now I'm gonna go in with my, um, I'm gonna do my eyes real quick. You can also, like I said, do your eyes with your lip and cheek colors. So these are all my lip and cheek colors. I just got a few more that aren't in here. But um, the Desert Sunset's one of my favorites. Don't mind my nails, I have a nail appointment today. Um, and then these pinks are beautiful, this peach. Um, I think this is Frenchy. this is Desert Sunset. This is another one of my favorites here, which is Nude. This one's super fun. It's really red and scary, but it goes on such a beautiful pink. So that's the, the thing about our, um, our blushes, our lip and cheek colors, like this one here. So Rachel got ruby and it made me want to get ruby. Look at this color. It looks, it's amazing, but it looks so scary to go on your face. So I'm going to use this today. I'm going to show you how beautifully these, these colors go on, even as scary as they look in the tins. So um, you can use those on your eyes or you can use the contour on your eyes. So if you're like completely, I'm in a rush, I'm on the go, you can do your full face. You can do everything I just did, contour your eyes, throw on your lashes or do your mascara. Um, you can use our eyeshadows or the contour for your brows and then lip and cheek color can go on your lips and you're good to go. So I'm not even kidding when I say there's some days where I just need to go right a few errands to run and I want a little bit of something on my face and it's five minutes or less and I'm out. So. Um, yes, nude is one of my favorites. That, that's a great, like, all year color. Ooh, Ruby and Desert Sunset. I like your style, girl. All right, I'm gonna have to try that. So, all right, I'm gonna go in with my, um, let's grab my eyeshadow everything brush. So all of our brushes are double-ended, which is amazing. Cuts down on your stash. So I'll just show you. I have every single one of our brushes, and this is, this is all I use. That's it. So that's my entire brush collection. And all of my makeup goes in this bag here. I used to have a huge makeup box and then I had um, overflow of stuff. Everything is in that and I don't even use everything that's in that. I just dropped one, hang on. So um, yeah, brushes, everything is amazing. That is one of my favorite things about this product is just how much it's cut down on my stash. Okay, so what am I gonna do today? What colors? These are all of my eyeshadow colors. So I have almost all of the collection now and I have a few more that just came in oh here all of these so I think I have all but one color and they're super super fun so maybe I'll do let's just do neutral today because I don't know how this blush is going to go on my skin <laughs> so I'm going to start with um trusty old so this one is looks like this because I actually smashed some of it up and put it into my stay setting spray so I don't know if you can kind of see that, um, see that shimmer that it gives there? Mm hmm So that's why that looks like that. This is the only one that I use every day because I use it on my brow bone and I use it all over my lid, which I'm gonna do right now. 
and I'm using the larger end of the eyeshadow everything brush this brush you guys is amazing I've never found an eye uh, brush that applies eyeshadow like this okay so I'm just going all over my lid so I'm going on a trip tomorrow with some girls that I met on Instagram a few years ago. We do an annual trip and my phone is blowing up with texts right now. So I can't see, like it covers up all of this. I'm having the hardest time doing my eyes right now. I'm gonna have to bend down. Okay, so this is Rome. That's my go-to for everything. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more up here. I'll make that a little more shimmery in a little bit, but um, so great thing about this too with these shadows and this brush is even though I just put that all over which can't even, you can't see anything coming off on there so I'm just gonna go right into my next color um, let's do okay I am obsessed with our newest color lullaby which is this guy right here I'm gonna go in with that on my crease so starting in the outer corner and then just sweeping. I like to bring it up a little on the outside and be a little bit more dramatic there. And then just slightly underneath. If I was doing a nighttime look, I'd bring it more under, but look at how beautiful that color is. You guys, I'm obsessed with this one. I think that all of my other colors have been neglected ever since this one came into my life. And it just goes on so good too, so. In the outer corners, I just get in there really good and do it in kind of a circle motion because that just helps bring that beautiful shape into your eyes and a little bit more dramatic and then bring it down just a little. So isn't that color so pretty? Oh, I love it. Okay, and then um, I think I'll just go for it and do our other new color that I'm obsessed with and I wear every day. So that's this um, new one called Bird, this brown here. And this is meant to mimic, it's like a, kind of the same color of our as our olive contour, but in a powder. So then I'm just going with the smaller end of the brush and doing a V shape on the outer corner here. And I'm bringing it down just ever so slightly. Am I the only one that has to uh, open my mouth when I do my makeup? How do you not do that? I, I don't know. Uh, Rachel, the first one I used in my crease, yes, was Lullaby. And I think we were out of stock on that one for a little bit. I haven't checked to see if it's back in stock, um, but it's amazing. And then this one is Bird. But Lullaby, yes, I'm obsessed with. So we'll see how that works with Ruby, but it should be good. Okay, so I've got the outer corners done. Look at these colors, aren't they beautiful? And I barely even dipped my brush into here. They're so highly pigmented, it doesn't take a lot. That's why these everything lasts so long. And then I'm just taking the fluffier side and blending everything together. Good, that's good to know, Rachel. Thank you, Cass. Okay, so Lullaby is back in stock, you guys. Go get it, it's, I'm seriously, seriously obsessed. Okay, okay. Don't you love these colors? Oh my God, I, can't, I just can't get enough. So now I'm gonna go in and dip my ring finger back into Rome and just put that on my brow bone. Some gals like to use their illuminator for their brow bone, which works well. It's, I mean, our illuminators are amazing. And that just gives that little bit of extra um, glow when the light hits it there. All right, now, let's see. Oh, I put all my brushes away, hang on. Showed you guys and then I put them away and I had them out for easy access, okay. The B squared, uh, blush and bronzer brush amazing so I'm obsessed with our Bella cream bronzer right now 
um, especially for summer, to get a little bit of a glow. I'm actually gonna do that first. So I've been doing that as my last step before illuminator, but I, I started doing it before my blush and I actually like that better. So this is the Bella Cream right here. Just grazing it with my brush. And then I'm gonna go on my cheekbones, kinda down the side. Do you, can you guys see how beautiful that is? It just gives you such a pretty summer glow. And it helps too if you feel like your highlight is a little bit light because you're a little more tan or darker during the summer, then this will help bring that bronze out. How pretty is that? And then a little bit up on my forehead. So I'm just going with a real light hand where I would contour with this and where the sun would naturally hit you. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so then I'm gonna take, that was, the, that was used with the big fluffy side. Now, oh, thanks Cass, you're so sweet. Um, I'm gonna take the smaller side of the B squared brush and, okay, so this, this is kind of scary. So you just wanna go really light in there. I mean, two small taps. So you can always add. And with this makeup, it's actually foolproof because if you do too much, it's super easy to correct it. So don't get scared if it goes on dark because you can blend it out and it'll be beautiful. So I just got a little bit on there because I haven't used this yet to see how it goes on my skin. And then I'm going to just put it on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, that's so pretty. Look, see how much went on when I, I literally just like barely touched it. So that is gorgeous. I love this color, I'm obsessed. And then again, you can always add. It's much easier to add than take away. So just get a feel for the colors. Usually on first color matches, I go a little bit safer for you guys. And then once you get used to how to apply the makeup, then you can look into getting these fun colors on your own. But um, Desert Sunset and Hollywood are the two that I recommend most with my color matches. Again, because they're pretty safe and um, it's, it's a great everyday color. So that's what people usually wear the most anyway. Hollywood's a great, um, like a flush pink color and Desert Sunset's just like a golden, like a bronze, beautiful color. So I've got that on. I'm gonna go back with my um, Perfector sponge and take the flatter end and just dab that to blend it. I love this color. So that goes to show how scary they look in the ten, the tins, but on your skin, it's absolutely amazing. And just don't put a lot. So use a light hand and then add to it. Um, and then I'm gonna go back in with my, I wanna keep this area nice and bright. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of my highlighter or highlight back. I don't know why I call it a highlighter. Highlight back in there to keep that triangle area nice and bright okay I should probably you guys this is so much easier if I just look in the mirror and I forget that I have the mirror right in front of me so I can do that because it's so hard to gauge these colors in my phone okay voila now the fun part, you guys, is the illuminator. So my two favorites are honey and rose gold. I use this one the most, obviously, and this is my third, I'm on my third one. I love it that much. So just dipping, rubbing my finger into it. I'm gonna go up my cheekbone with it here. And this one is personal preference. So you can go light, you can go darker, but you're not gonna see it. It's gonna blend out so pretty. So then just using my Perfector sponge, look at that glow, you guys. You can see it's, it's there's still a glow over here from the highlight, but this is just amazing when the light hits it. Honey is my absolute favorite. Another thing too that you can do, so, um, Cassidy just gave me this tip yesterday, one of my 
fellow mascara artist that you could take the if you have the power powder brush to use the flat angled end and use that dip that in for your highlight another thing I like to do if you don't want to use your finger is take the pointy end of the uh, perfector sponge and get a good amount on the sponge and then just dab it onto your skin so if you want it a little bit more prominent, then this is the way to do it. That's my favorite when I want a little bit more, a little bit extra glow. And then tip of the nose. I just have extra, so I put a little on my chin since I really skin, I don't want a ton there. And then Cupid's bow. And then just lightly blending that out. Okay. Today, so what I normally use for brows is this Wonder Brow product. I have mine microbladed, but I need a touch up, so I've had to fill them in again. But this Wonder Brow, you guys, is amazing. I love it. Um, and today I'm not gonna use that though. For the sake of time, I will go in with our um, one of our eyeshadows, which for my brows, I use, uh, where is it? Actually, I'm gonna use Bird which is the color that I used on my um, the corner of my eyes there. So just dipping, this is our, okay, I don't know the name of this brush. Cass, help me out. Are you still on? This, um, Know Your Angles, that's it. This is the Know Your Angles brush, I just remembered. So dipping that into the powder there and then just applying it to my brows. And like I said earlier, you guys can do this with contour as well. Just um, the contour gives a little bit more staying power because it's a, a cream, so that's gonna hold your brows in place all day. I typically go in with my clear gel over this if I do a powder. With the Wonder Brow, you don't have to. It's all in one, and I don't know what it is about that product, but I seriously love it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, so crazy, right? You guys, I'm not even kidding when I tell you, like, you will be obsessed with this makeup when you start using it. And then my favorite mascara is um, Tarte Gifted. It's in this cool wooden tube. If you guys haven't tried this, try it, especially with oily skin. So this is the only stuff that... Um, doesn't transfer to my upper lid throughout the day and I guess it doesn't that's not necessarily just oily skin if it's humid where you live or hot and you're sweating then the mascaras tend to transfer so um, that is what I love about this stuff and then I used to have eyelash extensions probably for about a year and I finally got them taken off and I was so worried and you guys, my eyelashes were nubs when I got them taken off, which I totally expected, but it couldn't even be corrected with mascara. Putting mascara on it was even worse. Not mascara, the makeup, the actual mascara for your lashes. Um, so I had heard about this lash serum called Babe Lash. Of course, there's a rodent in fields, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure how it would work and I didn't want to spend $150 on it. So I spent half the price, well, even more than, less than half, on Babe Lash, which is on Amazon. It was freaking amazing. Um, within a couple weeks, my eyelashes were, I actually had to trim them down a little. I had some crazy ones that were way too long. So um, the volume and the length within a few weeks was insane. So if you guys um, struggle with sparse lashes, definitely try that. And if you DM me, I can send you a link to it. Um, so let me step back so the lighting's a little bit better. And then also for the sake of time, I don't even know how much time left I have on this. I think I'm just going to go with Ruby as I did on my cheeks, on my um, lips, if I can find it. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I lied. I'm going to do what I would normally do so you guys can see my everyday uh, lip color if I can find it here. So I go, I love these um, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I have a few colors here. I mean, 
like all the same color genre. But these are amazing. They stay on my lips. I do um, put a gloss over them just because I don't like my lips to feel dry and they do with this because it's matte. But Dreamer, this is my go-to go-to and then Lover. So these are my the two that I use the most. So I think today I'm gonna go with Lover, the darker pink. And then I just got this new lip liner from Thrive Cosmetics. It's supposed to be like a great stay all day one. Um, it goes on like butter, I love it. And I just like to do a nude, so my, my lips aren't super divine, defined, so I like to do a nude liner, and then I just basically use the same liner for everything. And then I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, so they're lined. Now I'm gonna go in with this color here. Okay, and I, I always use the edge of the little um, spongy thing here because in the middle is a ton of color and I don't want to deposit too much color. If you do, you can use the center. But I feel like using the edge gives me a little bit more control. So isn't that a fun summer color? And then my lip gloss. This is City Lips in Clear, so this is one that you'd have to order online, and same with this Thrive Cosmetics. It's, it's one of those places where you have to order online. It's not in the store. But this stuff, you guys, I even if I don't have anything on my lips, I love to wear it um, just on my lips because it it doesn't plump like the um, stuff with like the cinnamon in it and where, where it like tingles, but your lips look so healthy and definitely like gets rid of the lines and everything, so I'm, I was... For a while, I was like, I don't know if I want to order again. I just, I'm so um, instant gratification. Like, I need to go to the store and get my products. But I've learned to be patient, and most places ship pretty quick now. Um, this wasn't too bad. So I was on the fence for a while, but now that I'm getting low, I think I'm definitely going to order another one. Hey, V, you're coming in right on the end for the best part to see it all done. So I just do a little bit. And then this will last all day, all of this. Um, I didn't do my setting powder because I totally spaced it, but I will after we get the actual, I'll just, you know what, I'll do it while I've got you guys on here. And if I'm gonna run out, hopefully it'll warn me. Almost done, you guys, I promise. So with this, you untwist the top. This is Agent Zero Shine, and it's the one I found to work best for my oily skin in the summer. So you just twist the top there and then pour a little bit into the lid and then it comes with this little brush. So I just dip it in there, tap off the excess. And if you're gonna do a setting powder, I typically do this right after my highlight and contour. And then I do my blush, illuminator, bronzer and all of that, but I spaced it today. So I'm just gonna go in lightly with this, but it's definitely something I need because it's so dang hot here. And this works well with this cream-based makeup too. And we'll keep it in place all day. So this will, it, it does make me look a little bit matte for a little bit, but as the day goes on, I get that glow. So people that, that like people that have dry skin maybe, that get that dewy glow immediately from the mascara products, I get that a little bit later as my um, setting powder sets. So you can actually still see the illuminator shining through, so I don't really need to go back through with that. Um, I'll probably just do a little bit more bronzing because, yes. Okay, and then bring it down a little to just blend the color. So there it is, you guys. Now, um, this is my daily look. It does take me a little bit longer than just doing a quick five, 10 minute everyday look. And I do have a 10 minute look on my YouTube channel. If you guys go over, there's a link in my bio. 
And then there's a link to the YouTube channel in that list if you guys want to check that out. But this is Ruby Blush, um, Realm Lullaby and Bird on My Eyes. And then the lip color was Lover, the Maybelline. Can you see that? I don't know. It's the Superstay Matte. Lip liner was from Thrive Cosmetics. The color is, I don't even know. I don't know, it's the nudist looking one. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, shoot me a DM. Um, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. And um, if you want a color match, then shoot me a DM. I'll need a selfie of you, no makeup on, standing in natural light, preferably facing a window, so that allows me to see your true skin tone to see if there's any redness we need to cover up, if you have any dark spots we need to cover, that type of thing. I know um, people don't like sending those, but trust me, um, my melasma ridden face, you're not gonna surprise me with anything. I have acne, which is actually uh, been under control because of a new supplement I've been using that I wanted to share with you guys, but I'm out. I have a new um, bottle coming. I shared it, I don't think I shared it on this channel. It was on my interiors channel, but it's called Halo Beauty and they're on Instagram if you search for that, but I cannot tell you the difference in my skin. I have struggled with adult acne for the last 13 years since I had my youngest child. And I started using that and within a few weeks, my face was clear and I was like, what am I doing different? Why is my skin so good? And, and the hydrofacial definitely helped um, with that too. But I, the only thing I changed was using that supplement. So I'm obsessed and I'm actually freaking out because I have more on the way, but there's like a week gap. So I'm like, please don't break out. So, um, so far so good, but that's definitely helped my skin. So if that's something I struggle with, hair and nails and skin, that's what it's for. It's amazing. So check it out, it's Halo Beauty. Um, anyways, I got sidetracked there. If you guys need a color match, then shoot me a selfie and um, in standing in natural light and I can recommend your perfect colors. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.